Can you think of anything else to include in this box? Let me know towards the end of the video. I'm kind of curious. Whether or not to take responsibility of your kids' education is something that I know a lot of people are, are interested in, myself included. And today I wanted to go over a little project that we've been working on that kind of goes right along with this. You could have these wedges just on one side. However, my son really enjoys uh, opening up these. And so he wanted a box that had these, these wedges both at the top and at the bottom. And that son is me. So I always thought it was really fun to learn new things, but it wasn't until we had our son and became responsible for his education um, that I become more immersed in the concept of learning. He is six at this point. Uh, six point three years old. I'm getting close to six point five years old. We have been teaching him things all along. I mean, it wasn't like one day it was like, okay, now you're five. Now we can start, you know, reading or do math or anything like that. It's just been kind of a thing all along. Now, since we have a shop full of tools, we often make things for him or we include him in the workshop and have him be part of projects. Now, inside here, we have a bunch of geometric proofs and little fun things to focus on that I want to show. Um, and I actually think that these shapes here were among the first things that we cut out on when we got our first laser engraver. We actually first cut these out on paper as just something to kind of play with and, and focus on. And then the, this was like an ideal little project to do on the laser because, uh, you know, paper kind of bends and it's hard to move around, especially like kids. First of all, we have just the fundamentals of a circle. 360 degrees. That's how many degrees are in a circle. Radius, diameter, curd. And this we've been kind of playing with for a while now. These are types of circles. How many sides do they have? Hexagon. This one has six. Octagon. This one has eight. This pentagon. This has five. Decagon. This has ten. Okay, so this one right here is the Pythag Pythagorean theorem. So mentally, it can be kind of hard to understand how a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We have like a little visual aid here. So three squared looks like this. Plus four square, which looks like this, actually equals five square. So you can visually see how much larger that is. Okay, this is a three by three. Well, this is a four by four. This is a five by five. Now, we haven't gone over too much about the Pythagorean theorem yet. Although we focus on concepts within the mathematics uh, quite broadly. Um, we don't follow a specific curriculum in our education here. He's been working on basic addition and subtraction, and now we're doing larger numbers, we're borrowing when we are subtracting, we're starting to do some multiplication, and this is all because he's responding quite well to all of these things. He thinks this is a lot of fun. Scalene triangles, but they're all different angles, and we have three identical ones here. Now how does that angle plus that angle plus that angle equal a straight line, 180 degrees? So then we can just take these identical triangles and we can do a plus b plus c equals a straight line and you can orient that however you want. This is it makes a straight line. Well, that's kind of a cool shape. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay so we got those and then we just have this we just kind of started working with uh, in terms of starting with fractions. So you have a whole circle how you cut that in half so you have two halves four pizza slices, eight slices. And we are about making a circle, eight pieces a circle. And this is to make a circle with only two pieces. But you also say to make a fancy symbol with this that I like a lot. Oh, that looks kind of cool. So These like how are, many parts are in each? This is eight, this is two, this is four. Uh -huh. And this is one. So this is a whole one. Yeah. Is this the same as this? Yeah. I think that small little boxes like these that contained a concept are kind of neat. You know, like you have them on a shelf and like, okay, let's do some geometry. We take the box out and here are these little proofs and let's kind of go over them. We can bring up those concepts again at a different lesson later on um, if you're doing something or they can be reinforced. So I kind of like these kind of little boxes in general. It'd be kind of cool to make more of them in different kind of areas. There's one problem here. Yeah. I don't 
see in the origin. There's a tiny point in the middle. Should we make that larger? Is it too small? It's it's enough, but I but you don't write a little origin here. Oh, okay. Like you don't say origin. It needs to say origin there too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now the box itself becomes a puzzle that you can disassemble and put together again. It's all kind of part of one thing. So what what's fun about these wedges? You had to take them off. I find the concept or the subject of teaching your kids at home kind of fascinating. Like a large part of that is because I'm from Sweden and, and there you don't homeschool, it's not even allowed. Uh, whereas here in the US, of course, you have a lot more flexibility. And this has become a subject that I've become <laughs> quite passionate about. Uh, just the, this, the concept of, of, of being responsible for your kids and having that freedom to be able to, you know, devote time and energy and effort and then um, teach them at whatever pace you want and go into a, a wider array of things, which has been really, really fun and really kind of interesting at the same time. So this is something that takes up quite a lot of our time and that I think a lot about. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below if anybody else is doing something similar or if you just have, you know, thoughts or ideas about it in general. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you have, uh, what you think about the box. Any ideas about what more to include in the box? I'll be curious. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon.